that snazzy iPhone guy from stormy Salt Lake City. It's thundering and lightning rain. <laughs> like crazy out there it's pretty windy too but uh, that is aside the point we are here to talk about iPhone and iPhone only so I'm um, rocking these Snaztec Epic expect these in the next few days on unlimitedcase.com very cool little case uh, for those of you who haven't seen it yet that Apple logo is on the physical case itself it's not a hole like the rest of them cases um, See, no hole, still an Apple logo. So check this out. Uh, it's going to be in the, here in the next few days on unlimitedcase.com. But today we are going to be focusing our attention to the Marware Game Grip. Uh, please check out iPod App Case Master. Uh, he is the one that sent this to me. Very generous, very uh, nice of him to send out. He has good videos, good quality content. So check him out at youtube.com slash iPod App Case Master. IACM, you can follow him on Twitter, twitter.com slash IACM. Okay, so this is made by uh, Marware. Personally, I've never been a fan of Marware stuff. And I don't mean to say that in a rude way, but it's just, they seem overpriced and overhyped, you know? Um, now this is the game grip. For those of you who don't know, the iPhone is a pretty good little gaming platform. So what Marware has done is made a controller-like system to fit this uh, type of model so that you can use your phone, kind of, and that's one of my downsides. You can use your phone while also playing, gaming, doing all the accelerometer stuff that you need and love to do. All right, so um, let's pull these little skins off right here and show you the basics of the case, what goes on in this little Marware game grip. There is some cable management systems that are pretty decent. And uh, so let me show you how it works. Okay, so this one is for the headphone jack. You place your phone in like this. And then uh, you go from there. And the headphone jack goes down and down and down. You follow the cord. And the cord goes over here and through this little hole right there. You just flip it in there and then it goes to the side. So it's quite a bit of cables. One thing that did bother me was the headphone jack kind of, or the headphone cable kind of got in the way of this softer grip and it bothered me a little bit. Now on this side, there is a hole for the speaker, and there's also a little line that comes down here. I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe to make the sound reverberate. I don't know, quite honestly. Uh, this is the microphone hole. No, excuse me. This is the microphone hole, right? Hold on. Yes. This is the microphone hole, and this is the speaker. So the speaker is made so that it can go directly out to you as the gamer, because you put the shell on right here, and bam, the speaker's right there. So that's a nice little feature Marware has implemented. And then this is the cable management for the dock. 30 pin dock connector goes down here and wraps itself down through that little area right there. Great, right? Okay, so what uh, was sent to me and what comes with the Marware game grip is a little silicone cover you put over your iPhone. Um, it's a little black, very discreet little cover. Looks good, looks nice. I mean, it's a good, decent little case, but um, I seem to have, and shame on me, I seem to have misplaced this skin, but I think that this will fit. Let me try. Switch easy colors. Will this snaggle down in there? Oh, it's dead. It's, it's a tight fit, but it goes. Okay, um, great. So you're in this position. Right. I mean, you turn on your device, you slid to unlock, and you can still use your phone as normal. You can even call people, you look like a pretty big douchebag, but you can do it. And uh, you just hold your handset up to your head with this very small and discreet looking little practical gaming thing right here. And uh, I mean, there you go. So all of the cables, you obviously won't use all these. I haven't plugged myself into the wall uh, with these things, you know, yet, but maybe I will sometime. But. It's a very, I mean, th this grip is nice. Playing some games, let's find an accelerometer, no, F, my life. An accelerometer based game. Um, snail mail. You start this up and it, I mean, this feels like a good controller. It's a good little handheld system. Um, so in that regard, I mean, the screen is fully accessible. 
Uh, your, but your home button, one thing that is a big downside is you cannot get your power button right here. It's blocked off. So you have to pull the phone out to turn that off. But volume adjustment is right here and you can see it's engraved. Maybe you can't, but it's engraved in there so you can see up and down volume. Snail mail. And so, oh there we go. So I mean, uh, my adventure got started over. I'm only on level nine. Okay, sorry, family interruption. So you can go and you can control your little snail using this controller. It's a good little interface. It's a good little thing that Marlowe's developed. You know, it's a good little, it's a good, I don't know. It's just, it's nifty, it's fun, it's easy to use, obviously. But there are some very impractical things about it. If you're on the road, if you're doing other stuff, carrying this big dang control around is not the most practical idea. I mean, this thing is huge. My whole hand, from bottom to top, is still, I mean, you know, this isn't much shorter than my hand. Uh, on this area, very neat, except for you can't hit the sleep and wait button, which for me is a big downside. Another downside was in this headphone jack port, uh, only the newer, more Apple Adapt headphones and the Apple phone accessories itself fit in there. So a lot of the other third party headphone jacks wouldn't fit in there, but the square ones that go out, you have to have the straight down ones. And you can't always find those everywhere. Down here on the bottom, um, it was pretty good. I didn't have a problem with that. I like the grip. I like the way it's made, it, it's built. On the back, uh, I didn't like the cable management running through here. I think they should have done the little craters all the way through, personally. Uh, this is a nice little feature. This is how you get it out. It's very simple, very easy. So you could do that. I mean, it's not, it's not hard by any means. It's just not there, you know? And that's one thing I wish they would have done. But instead of having to rip this out from the bottom or stuff, you just push the back up and it pops out. So that's a nice little feature. Overall, the Marware Game Grip is, you know, pretty cool, but it's for very select audiences. This is definitely not for everyone. It's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit bulkier, and it's at a very premium price. I don't remember for sure, but it's like 45 bucks. For 45 bucks, this is not worth it. I don't care who, what, kind of, what type of gamer you are. $45, not worth it. If it was 25, 30, even, it would be, bam, great purchase, but it's not. It's $45, and that's just not something that I think most people are willing to go out and spend. So it's a little, I mean, if you want a good little gaming controller that's made for iPhone, that works well, that has decent cable management, that you can get your speaker right there, fast, easy, efficient, the Marware Game Grip is a pretty solid device, you know? It works with iPod Touch and iPhone 3G. There's little inlays that they give you. But overall, for me, for the average consumer, this isn't very practical. So my final review on the Marware Game Grip, sorry guys, is two out of five. Um, I mean, they had a good concept, they just didn't flow with it well. And so for that reason, I have to give it that rating. And, uh, you know, that's just how it goes. Marware Game Grip, two out of five. Please visit my website at www.unlimitedcase for the latest and greatest prices on iPhone and iPod Touch cases. Yes, we do carry iPod Touch. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, stay snazzy.